What is up, my people? My name is Stiflerd, and welcome back to the cafe, where we talk about tools, tips, and tricks to take your Minecraft creations to the next level. After many months of anticipation, 1.13 is finally here today, on July 18th of 2018. And I'm super excited. I know that you are too, and so are all of your players. So I'm sure that a lot of you are getting anxious to upgrade your Minecraft multiplayer servers to this update aquatic. But before you do that, you need to take a few steps to prepare yourself and understand some of the complexity that comes with updating to a new Minecraft version. And think about a few things that you can prepare for. In this video, I'm taking a look at five things that you can do to prepare your Minecraft servers for 1.13. Before you just jump right into it and download 1.13 and upload it to your server, you need to do some testing. I highly recommend getting a cheap test server that you can use to work out all of the kinks of your gameplay, the mechanics, anything that's changed that might affect your players in the long term. And you can do that with a server host that I personally use and really highly recommend uh, called Extra VM. Now, I'm not being paid to say any of this. I just really love Extra VM and I think that they offer a great service. And Mike, the owner, is a former Spigot MC staffer, so he really knows his stuff. If you are planning on getting a test server so you can work out any bugs with the 1.13 gameplay and whatever changes and unique features that you have on your server, then you can actually use a promo code that Mike has been so gracious to send to me. Uh, it is 50MC113. You can use that promo code for any of their Minecraft servers, which will get you half off of uh, your first month's hosting. I can't emphasize enough how important it is that you test your server before you push anything live. You don't want any bugs or game mechanics to break the gameplay on your server. So go ahead and get a test server up and running so that you can work with 1.13 right now and not hurt any of the gameplay on your server. I know that that means that you're going to hear from some of your players who are dissatisfied with how fast you are rolling out the update to your server. But uh, trust me, it is going to be worth it. You're going to want to deal with players who are a little impatient more than you're going to want to deal with server and game breaking bugs that can really slow the momentum and, and put a damper on things. For step number two, you're actually going to want to download your world from your server and load it up in single player. All that you need to do is download the world folder from your server in the previous version. So here I have 1.12.2 and you're gonna load that as a single player world. You'll click edit and then optimize world. And that takes a few minutes. I know what I'm doing. It's gonna take a few moments to go through all of the chunks, but it's going to update those chunks throughout your world. And then you can take them and put them on your test server and make sure that everything is functioning properly. And it's going to run really smooth so that as your players are traveling around in the world, the server is not under a lot of uh, pressure and load because it's trying to transition the 1.12.2 or previous version chunks over to 1.13 in real time. Now that you have a test server up and running and you have also optimized your previous version worlds to 1.13, you can download the latest version of whatever Minecraft multiplayer server library API or like Spigot MC here it is that you want to use. Now with Spigot, you will want to use the build tools. Do not, under any circumstances, use a jar that has been compiled for you. Just go ahead and use the build tools. There's a great build tools guide, which I will link to down in the description below. And you can get the latest pre-release seven development build for Spigot, Bugget, Craft Bucket, uh, and bungee cord. Now you're gonna want to do some testing with this and make sure that everything works Again, keep in mind, this is for 1.13 pre-release 7. This is not for the official 1.13 release, which Mojang has just released today. So this is really only for testing purposes. 
Once you have the Minecraft jar for 1.13 installed on your server, you're going to want to go ahead and start the server and watch through the console for any warnings or errors that might appear here where you see it says server. Check all of those issues that come up either with the plugin or with the world chunk loading or any other issues that might be a little bit strange to you and copy those over to a service like Pastebin or Hastebin or just in general take note of them so that you can send these bugs and issues to the developers. As a developer, I can tell you it is extremely frustrating when people get upset about bugs, but then they don't report those bugs to me. If you see an error or warning in the console relating to a bug, send that bug over to the developer so that they can fix it. If they don't know about it, then they can't fix it and you're just going to stay frustrated. Alright, so you've got your test server and you've optimized your world for 1.13. You've also installed your plugins and the latest Minecraft jar for your server. And you've taken note of all of the bugs. What's next? If you are using Spigot, which I definitely am, then you should run a timings report. You're going to just type a command into chat, timings slash on, and you're going to wait about 10 minutes or so to get a an okay size report. The longer that you allow timings to run with your plugins installed and 1.13 running on the test server, the more accurate information you are going to receive in the end. Once you've given the timings report plenty of time to run in the background, you just type slash timings paste, and that is going to give you a link which you can go to here. This is an example report from a 1.12.2 server, but as you can see, it gives you a lot of information about like the number of entities, how many players are on during the time that the timings was running the average TPS during that time and the server load. And then it breaks down all of the plugins and what is going on with each of them, which processes on all of those plugins are taking up different resources on the server. This information is going to be really handy. You might have a plugin that doesn't show a warning in your console, but is still causing lag on the server because maybe it hasn't been updated yet or optimized for 1.13. So again, take this information that you get from your timings report and send it over to the plugin developers so that they can do what they need to in order to make the server run better. Last but not least, you need to make yourself aware of all of the changes to the Minecraft mechanics so that you can make sure that they don't conflict with any of the unique gameplay features that you have added on your server. For example, you've got these magma blocks that allow players to be sucked down or items. AFK fishing farms don't work the same way anymore, so if AFK fishing is something that happens a lot on your server, then you need to find out what you can do to resolve the issues present there. Maybe you have other mechanics that rely on mobs in a certain way and dolphins just by the nature of existing might cause some issues with that mechanic that you have on your server. Whatever it is, you need to familiarize yourself as much as possible with this game. Right now, more than any other update in the past, this is probably the biggest update to Minecraft in years and it changes a lot of mechanics. So seriously, do yourself a favor and test everything and think critically about what it is that your server does that's unique that might be affected by the changes that are coming with Minecraft 1.13. Well, that is it for me today, guys. It has been a pleasure making this video for you. I hope that these five tips will help you prepare for adding Minecraft 1.13 to your multiplayer servers. If you have any questions, feel free to hit that Discord link down in the description below and leave a comment with some of the Minecraft features that you are most excited about that are coming with this update. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe because I release videos like this one every single week, actually multiple times a week, to help you take your Minecraft servers to the next level. I'll see you all next time. Thanks again for watching. Peace.